What's up guys welcome back to another video in this video I will tell you about the eligibility criteria of joining Merchant Navy and to clear all your doubts about DNS, BSc in Nautical Science and BTEC in Marine Engineering. Also I will share my experience and the course I pursued to join this profession. So without further ado let's get started. So I will start with the basics first. There are two main departments on a ship. First is the deck department or the navigation department and second is the engine department. So I will start with the deck department first. So in a deck department, you are basically concerned about the navigation part of the ship. Bridge is the workplace from where we navigate the ship. Secondly, when you are joining on board for the first time, you join as a deck cadet. And after completing your cadet ship, you come back, you give your second mate's exam. And this exam is helpful in clearing your two ranks. So next time when you join on board, you will join as a third officer or as a junior officer in some companies and then they promote you to the third officer and when you have some years of experience in third officer rank then you can be promoted to second officer rank because you already have the license of second mate so after becoming a second mate you again have to give chief mates exam to become a chief officer and then again you have to give one more exam to become a captain or a master so the hierarchy is just like this you start with the deck cadet then third officer then second officer then chief officer and the final is the captain or the master of the ship. So before telling you about the ways to join the deck side, I'll tell you about the eligibility criteria of joining Merchant Navy. First, you should be at least 17 years of age. Second is you should have secured at least 60% marks in PCM that is physics, chemistry, maths in your class 12. Third is you should have at least 50% marks in English in either 10th or 12th. Fourth, you should be medically fit. Fifth, your eyesight should be 6 by 6 for nautical side and glasses are only permitted in the engine side. And sixth is you should not have color blindness or night blindness. So there are two ways to join deck side as an officer. First is diploma in nautical science, also known as the DNS course. It's a one year course on land followed by 18 months of sea time on ship. In this course, there is something known as sponsorship. Sponsorship means that the company is recruiting you even before the start of your course that is the DNS course so once you are completed with your one year DNS course on land this company will make sure that they will provide you with the ship and you complete your required sea time that is 18 months and after completing your required sea time of 18 months you come back and you attend a four months second mate function course and after that you are eligible to give second mates exam and in this exams you have to appear for both written as well as orals there are six written exams and three oral exams and once you clear all these you get the second mate's license so the second way to join deck side is by doing bsc in nautical science course it's a three-year course on land followed by 12 months of sea time in this course the companies they come to your college starting from the second year and they will recruit you on the basis of your results of the first year as well as how you perform in the personal interview so I did the same three-year course from Tulani Maritime Institute from 2015 to 2018. One big advantage of this course over the DNS course was that the BSc guys were exempted from giving the written exams during the second week. And DNS guys have to appear for both the written exams as well as the oral exams. So I can clear my second mates only by giving the oral exams. But the scenario has changed now. But then came a DG circular for the nautical wing examination that changed everything. I'll read that section 2.2 for you. To reiterate seafarers taking examination after 31st December 2015 for BSc Nautical Science or BSc Nautical Technology will be required to successfully complete the written signal visuals oral examination in addition to the required modular courses for issuance of COC. So to summarize this, the cadets who will be doing BSc in Nautical Science starting from 2016 batch will not be exempted from the written examinations of second mate and they will also have to appear for the written examinations just like the DNS cadets. 
So this was a big disadvantage for the BSc candidates. But yes, they will not have to attend the four month function course after completing their cadet ship. So moving on to the second department of ship, which is the engine department. In this department, you are basically taking care of the main engine and all the auxiliary machineries on ship. So engine room is the workspace of engineers and the hierarchy of ranks in the engine site are like this. So you join as an engine cadet first and then you get promoted to fourth engineer and then to third engineer and then to second engineer and finally you become a chief engineer. So the BTEC in marine engineering course is for joining the engine site guys. It's a four year course and in some colleges like Tulani Maritime Institute, they prefer doing a three and a half course on land that is in the TMI campus and followed by six months of internship on ship. So this way you get a fairly good amount of practical experience as well. So Tulani conducts its own exam known as a TMI SAT for getting admission into two courses. First is BSc Nautical Science and the second is BTEC in Marine Engineering. So Tulani takes 80 cadets in BSc Nautical Science and 240 cadets in BTEC in Marine Engineering. So I've done my research about the TMI SAT exam pattern. This year it will be conducted online. There will be two tests. First one is the main test which will have 80 MCQs of one mark each and this test will be divided into four sections. First is physics, second is maths, third is analytical reasoning and the fourth is logical reasoning. The questions will be of 10 plus 2 level. There will be negative marking in physics and maths section and the test duration will be of 90 minutes. So after completing your main test, you will have to appear for a 30 minutes behavior assessment. In this assessment, you will be given some basic situations and you have to choose the best option that suits your behavior. So before concluding the video, I have some frequently asked questions from your side. So I'll quickly address them in one line. So the first one is, can you get education loan for these courses? Yes, you can get education loan for all these courses. Second is, if your eyesight is not six by six, can you join the nautical site? Yes, you can join the nautical site provided if you get a LASIK surgery done. Third is, who books the flight tickets when you're joining the ship? Who, who is booking the flight tickets? So don't worry guys, company is taking care of all the flight tickets and the hotel stays. You don't have to worry about these things. So the next question is, what is the average salary of a deck cadet? So the average salary of a deck cadet is about $500, which is about 35,000 rupees. It may vary from company to company. So the next question is, what is the waiting period in current scenario? In current scenario, the waiting period of most of the companies is about three to seven months. So the next question is, is there vegetarian food on board? Most of the food on board is non-vegetarian guys, but there is at least one vegetarian dish at all time. Next is, is passport required during admission time? Yes, most colleges prefer that you have a passport during your admission time. But if you don't have your passport during your admission and you can tell them that you have applied for your passport and you can get them in one month or two months, it's not a big deal guys. So I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Do let me know in the comment section guys. And if you have any further queries, you can DM me on Instagram. You can find my Instagram handle here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching guys.